still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, <laughs> online since 2004, right. it's the one and only yeah. Rock and Roll Geek Show. With the original Rock and Roll Geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name's Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is Thursday, August 25th, 2016, when I'm recording this show, and it is 3.38 p.m. This is day 22 of the Dog Days of Podcasting, where a bunch of podcast nerds attempt to do a show a day for 30 days, and we're now into day 22. And I'm going to open up the, my first beer of the day, which is... As the, you know what they say about the first beer of the day, always the best. I'm going to have, courtesy of courtesy of Chris, who sent this to me again? Courtesy of friend of the show, Chris Hatchell. Thank you, Chris Hatchell, for this fine Almanac Beer Company Craft Pilsner. I'm putting it in the Yeti knockoff koozie here. I'm going to screw the top back on. Oh, I cannot wait for this first sip. Ah, oh, that's good. First sip of Almanac uh, beer is a little bit strong compared to the Tecate that I'm used to having, but it has a nice hoppy beer taste. It's an it's more of a craft brew taste, but it's only 4.8% alcohol, and I like the taste of it. Is it as good as Tecate? No, but it is um, tastes classier than a Tecate. All right, I have an audio comment. Let's play that. Hello, caller. Oh, he's at a concert. He's at the Ringo Starr concert? Hello, caller. Hey, Michael Butler. It's Tim, the rock and roll runner hey, Tim. from Ohio. Hey, Tim. How you doing? How's it going? Super great. Could not be better. Thanks for Good asking. Good to hear. Good to yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, If you haven't guessed, this is a show review of Ringo Starr oh, good. and his all-star band. Oh, good. Who's in the all-star band this year? Uh, past years have included Joe Walsh, the great Peter Frampton. Who else has been in the all-star band? Todd Rundgren. Uh, he's had some big big names in the All Star Band. When, who's in it this year, Tim? Uh, saw them actually over a month ago. Now I'm still behind. This was in Cincinnati at a place called the PNC Pavilion. It's an outdoor venue. Oh, that's like a it shed. It's covered though. Holds maybe five thousand, and okay. there are maybe four thousand people there. Comparable so, to what we have here, which is uh, Concord Pavilion like that i'm not very good at guessing those numbers um it was four fifths so full. first let's introduce the all-star band yeah there you go we good. have uh richard page of richard wait a minute we back that up here back that up the all-star band and we have uh richard page of mr 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 that is a one-hit wonder from from the 80s I really don't know anything about Mr. Mr. or Richard Page. Greg Rollins is in the band. He's the keyboardist for Santana. Uh, that is not, that's actually Greg Raleigh is his name. And he sang, he was also in Journey, he formed Journey with Neil Sean. He sang, uh, he was the lead singer in Journey before Steve Perry came into the band. He, he wrote, or he sang, uh, Ooh, anytime that you want me. Uh, he wrote, he sang, did he sing Wheel in the Sky? No. Uh, that was Steve Perry. But he was on some of their best albums, and he was he kind of shared lead vocal duty after Steve Perry came in the band. But yes, he was also in Santana. Greg Raleigh. And then three guys who have had connections with Toto. Toto! Toto. Steve Lukather. Steve Lukather, known as a great guitar player. Right. Warren Ham. Warren... Was also in okay. Blood Rock. Remember Blood Rock? Remember uh, that song DOA? Uh, hold. Do I remember DOA? Uh, does this answer your question? Fast that I'll find that. 
a song that was off of Blood Rock 2, that album. A song about, I think he was in an auto accident, and this was a song about arriving to the hospital dead. Looking at the ceiling, someone lays a sheet across my chest. Kind of an Alice Cooper ripoff. Something warm is flowing down my fingers. That's blood. Pain is flowing all through my back. Yeah, great tune. Great tune, man. Great tune. I love that. DOA. Blood Rock was the name of the band. That's a, the only song that I know from Blood Rock. But I have that on vinyl. Blood Rock 2, believe it or not. Loved that song when I was a kid because it was so freaky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my brother had the album. My older brother had the album, and I remember listening to it. A little it. more. It's like, you turn all the lights off and listen to that song in the I dark, and it like, really creeps you out. And and if, you, if you remember that. I, uh, a little and more. Hold on. A little more. A little more I blood rock. Get it to the chorus. I see there's nothing Heavy there. tune. We said, man, this is a trippy tune. This song the is evil. Beside me stopped it totally bleeding. The girl I knew has such a distant stare. I remember we were flying along and hit something in the Oh, he was in a plane crash, flying low. Oh, yeah. Scary tune. All right, back to you, Tim Smith. Yeah, I remember I remember Blood Rock. I remember it well. Blood Rock 2 was the name of the album. It's Greg Bissonette. He was Greg on Bissonette was the drummer for the David Lee Roth band, Eat Him and Smile Era, great drummer. He also was in Toto. And, of course, the last but not least, Todd Rundgren is in oh, the band as well. Oh, there you go. Well. Todd Rundgren, fantastic. So let me go set list. I have it pulled up on my phone here. Oh, good. Um, the first song I did was Matt. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> me, me. Okay, I think I'm warmed up. All right. Box. This is a Carl. Wait a Perkins. minute. Hold on. Back up. Um, the first song I did was Matchbox. This I don't is know a that Carl one. Perkins cover. I think you'd recognize it if you heard it. I wouldn't, didn't know the name, but I did recognize it. The second song, "It Don't Come Easy," which is you, you know, it don't come easy now. You know, you got what is it? Uh, got to sing, got to wait, uh, got to pay your dues if you want to sing the blues, and you know it don't come easy. You first heard me play. That was a clip yeah. from the show. Ringo Starr, of course, wrote that. Uh, then What Goes On, which is a Beatles song, which... I don't know that one. ...isn't obviously one of their bigger hits. I can't even think of how it goes now, but... I, I did recognize it. I guess okay. Ringo <laughs> wrote that. So, you know, the Beatles songs that were in here were all stuff Ringo wrote and oh, okay. had a hand in. Then a Todd Rundgren song, I Saw the Light. Uh, that's a good I one. remember that one. Do I have that? Let me see if let me see if I can find that. I'm pretty sure I probably have that on the um on the on the uh iTunes. I saw the I forget how it goes. Let me see. Let me see if I can find. I saw the light. I saw the light. Oh, I have it right here from something anything. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like Todd Rundgren. Little Santana with Evil Ways. You got to change your evil ways, baby. Uh, although it says on my set list, it says it's a Wooly Bobo cover. Probably. So maybe Wooly Bobo, Wooly Bobo did it before Santana. Probably. Before my time. Then Rosanna. 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 Toto tune. 
on uh they, they can't did stand Rosanna, that tune. The toto song so i don't know if you remember it well i'm sure you do remember that toto album it came on it was such a gigantic hold the line do, do, do. love is it always on time oh whoa whoa smash hit and I, it was kind of a guilty pleasure. I kind of liked it, but <laughs> not Rosanna. That song like it was sucked. Bad music at the same yeah, time. It is that bad makes music. Sense. But uh, hold the line wasn't too bad. Rosanna. I don't really need to hear any Toto songs. Nah, whatever. Me neither. Then they I'm surprised Kyle. you went to see Ringo and his All Star Band. All right, what, what was the next song you said? I'm back it up a little songs, bit. Songs, but whatever. Then they did Kyrie. It's a Mr. Mr. song. And ah. I actually did recognize the song. It's kind of a ballad. Eh. Very 80s sounding yeah. ballad. Nah. Then Bathroom break. Play, Todd Rundgren came out, put some little bongos out. We're going to bring of- Todd Rundgren out with some bongos. What's he going to play? I want to bang on my drum all day. Stage and did this song. Yeah. Just want to bang on the drum all day. Is this a Ringo drum solo? I don't want to play. Yes. Yeah. Bang the drum all day. That was really great. That's a fun it's, it's one. One of the highlights of the whole show. And of all the people up there, Todd Rundgren was definitely the most rock and roll. Of he course. Liked to talk between songs when he could. And I mean, he was bouncing around the most and just being the most rock and roll guy out he there. is rock and Ringo roll star everybody knows what he's like right he's kind of this cute lovable yeah guy he except when he says i will sign no more autographs peace and love peace and love anyway after october no autographs will be signed peace and love peace and love that's it all he kind of jiggles back and forth uh you know but he's lovable but Tom Runga was truly got a hot wife more than everybody else. You know, he was still yeah. carrying the banner. Although sure. I do love that Ringo Starr movie, Caveman. That was a great movie. Him and his wife, Barbara Bachman, I think is her name. Barbara Bach. I'm not... so, that song was great. Uh, then they did a song called Boys. It was, it's actually a Shirelles cover. Uh, Don't Pass Me By. Remember that one? No. It's a pretty good song. No. Beatles cover. And then uh, they did this song. Of course, they had to do this song. In a yellow submarine. Is that what that is? Yeah. Hey, boys. In a yellow submarine. That sounds like a fun old people concert. Yes, there you go. Yellow Submarine. Uh, then another... Same. I don't know how he got that guy from Mr. Mister. I don't know how he had any time available, but okay. And a song, Black Magic Woman. And got a Black Magic Woman. I never liked Santana. Gypsy Queen, they did that. I don't know that one. Then they did You're 16. Remember that song? You're 16. Actually- you're beautiful. And you're mine. Johnny Burnett song, but I believe the... The Beatles or Ringo did it Ringo as sang well. it. Another song called I'm the Greatest. I didn't really I don't know, know this. that this one. This is a Ringo Starr okay. solo song, I okay. guess, called I'm the Greatest. You Are Mine. That's a Richard that? Cage song. I oh, can't okay. remember if I don't know, know it that right. one. Then they did more Toto. They did oh. Africa. Remember that? One? Uh, I met the planes down in Africa. <laughs> Ugh. It's kind of bleh. lame. I don't know. Lame. Again, kind of you like it, but you hate it at nah, the same time. don't like it. I just then, don't uh, like it. Another Santana song. Uh, I'm hot and cold on Santana. I'm it's ice like, cold. I know it's good music, but it's not the stuff I really no, want to listen to. No, channel changing music. But here's a little clip of uh, this song, which you will recognize. Oh, they come on up. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes, that was Oye Como Va. Yeah. And uh, the end of the show, actually, I still got another six songs or so. Oh, did goody. I Want to Be Your Man, another Beatles cover. Uh, I Want to Be Your Man. Or that's I Want to Hold Your Hand, sorry. 
the answer. It says Utopia cover. That's I a think Todd it has Rundgren. To do with Richard Marx again. No, Todd yeah. Rundgren. Todd Rundgren and Utopia. He sang that one. Uh, Broken Wings, also Mr. Mister. Ugh. And then another total. Hold the line. And that Hold was totally the line. Really gigantic smash hit. Yeah, that's the one Everybody, I know. Everybody uh, loved that song when it came out. I guess. Yeah. And three more to go. They did Photograph, a Ringo Starr song. Oh, yeah. That was good. Yeah, yeah. Then they did Act Naturally. That's a Buck Owens cover. Uh, I know that and one. Act Naturally. With, with a little help from my friends. I get by with a little help from my friends. And give peace a chance. A little medley. Oh, of we songs. all say. So there you have it. There's a set right. list. It was a, a really fun show. Do without what the Toto tunes and, to and the Santana. I would suggest you go to it if you are either a gigantic Ringo Starr fan, which I'm not going to really say I am. I, I love the Beatles. I wouldn't really say I'm a huge Ringo Starr fan. Or the other reason is just for the novelty of it. And that's kind of yeah. why I went. I just kind of wanted to say I saw Ringo Did you Star. win tickets? It was a really good show. It did not blow me away. Todd Rundgren, in a way, was kind of more fun and more rock and roll than, than uh, Ringo was or anybody else was. But uh, I even liked the Santana and the Toto and the Mr. Mr. stuff. <laughs> okay. It was okay yeah. uh, to listen to. And it was fun seeing Ringo sing and play drums and all that. So I would say, yes, it was a good show. Don't go unless you know you're really going to be into it or you just kind of want to spend a few bucks for fun. Then it's worth going to. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I do have two more show reviews coming up. Please call, call them in. Maybe wait a little bit before I send those. And uh, keep up the good work with the dog days and stay frosty. Stay frosty, Tim Smith, the Rock and Roll Runner. You too can leave me an audio comment or show review. Area code 706621 Rock. That's area code 706 Or you can do what Tim Smith did. He recorded it. And sent it to me, to my email, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. Pardon me, I'm burping up this fine, what is it? What's the name of this beer? Almanac? This fine, yeah, this fine Almanac Craft Pilsner. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to see The Living End tonight. I don't know if you know who The Living End is, but they're a great band from uh, Australia. From Australia. The singer and guitar player, Chris Chaney, is one of the greatest guitar players out there right now i have interviewed them at least twice i didn't i had no idea they had a new album out until i saw that they were coming and i thought why are they coming to the united states i saw them i saw chris cheney uh probably about six or eight months ago with uh dead man walking which had a captain sensible from the damned had a slim jim phantom from the stray cats and uh a guy from the alarm it was a great show and I had seen The Living End a couple of times, too, and they're really good. They have a stand-up bass, but they are rocking. Um, Chris Chaney kind of uh, graduated from the Brian Setzer uh, school of, of guitar playing. He is ripping, ripping guitar player and a super nice guy. So I'm looking forward to seeing that show tonight. I have press passes, actually. I have one press pass. So I'm going to go to that. It's at Slim's tonight. Looking forward to it. It's going to be probably a late night for me, so pro- tomorrow I'll probably be... Uh, Dead on my feet when I'm working, but I will power through it. I'm going to leave you now with a brand new uh, Living End song. The band is called The Living End. This, their album is called Shift, and this song is called Further Away. Thanks for listening, friends, and thank you to everybody who donates to the show. Without your donations, this show will die a horrible, putrid, stench-filled, foot, fungus, amputated toes, Dog crap stepped in your shoes. All right, kind of death. Find me on the Facebook r and Geek. Find this show at rockandrollgeek.com or rockandrollgeek.com. Any way you can spell it. Find me on the Twitter r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram rockandrollgeek. Don't ask. We'll talk to you tomorrow, friends, for day 23 of the Dog Days of Podcasting. Here's a song called Further Away from the Living In, a brand new album. I'll talk to you tomorrow, friends.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs>